welcome to part two of my series on building a calculator using Xcode, Objective-C, and the COCO framework. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'd recommend watching that first as this picks up where that left off. So you'll notice that I included the equal button on the GUI this time since I forgot to include it on the first tutorial. So the first thing we're going to need to do is set up our controller class. In order to set that up, we will query for the NS object. And once we find it, we will drag an instance of that to our main nib uh, window. And from there, we will rename it. So we just dropped it right there. And we don't want to leave it as NS object. We want to make an instance of it, so we'll give it our name of uh, calc controller. So with our calc controller selected, we want to add some actions. And these basically represent the functions that will be associated with each of our buttons. So what you want to do is create a function name uh, for each button that you want to uh, have call a uh, function. So, and you'll notice at the end of each one of these, I am putting a colon, and that corresponds with the uh, Objective-C requirements for function names having to, well, you know, have colons. So, um, let's go ahead and wrap up uh, all of these actions, and once we finish that, we will then begin with the outlets. So, the concept of outlets, um, basically equates to uh, your code and your controller needing to talk and potentially update part of the uh, GUI uh, objects. So, uh, with the controller selected, we want to add outlets for each of those items I just selected, such as the calc display and each of the mathematical buttons. we finished adding the outlets we will want to select our controller and then we're going to go ahead and go to the file menu and write the class files out and what this will do is it'll actually generate the associated header file and the .m file to uh, depict all of the outlets and actions we've just declared and once you've done that you'll want to go to the classes and add and choose existing files and we're going to select both the .h and the .m file and push add. Now the fun part begins. Basically, uh, for each of these buttons, holding down the control key, then clicking the button, and then releasing over the controller itself will pop up all of your actions. So for each of these buttons, as you see I'm doing, what you want to do is select the action name that is associated with the button that you previously declared. And once you've done that, uh, we are going to do the opposite direction from the controller to the calculator for declaring our um, outlet bindings. So we'll do so from the controller to the calc display and to the mathematical buttons.
finished with all of our bindings, we will go to the file menu, save our changes, and then we can go ahead and inspect the header and uh, implementation files. And you'll notice that the header file contains all of our outlets, and it also contains all of our actions. And likewise, if we were to group this pane, and go ahead and click on that little icon right there, you'll see the associated implementation file with all the functions. And that's probably about where we're going to stop for this tutorial, but on the next one, we will work on filling those out to make our calculator responsive.